All right, today I'm going to be um, remaking the uh, video on how to set up and use a Win SCP. I'm going to be going into a greater detail on this version. Um, first thing you want to do is if you don't have Win SCP down already, you can go to my website and uh, download Win SCP from uh, my website. Um, after you have it downloaded, you'd want to run it. Go ahead and set this up. Uh, this is a new version. It's uh, version 4.0.7. Um, you're going to want to set up as a typical installation. And you want to leave it as a Norton Commander interface. Click Next. Install. Okay, we'll click Finish. Okay, first thing is that you're going to want to. Uh, you're going to need to make sure that um, you have a BSD subsystem installed. Um, that is located in um, the systems folder. I already got it installed, but if you don't have BSD subsystems installed, install that first. And after you install that, you're going to want to install OpenSSH. So. And then after this installs, you're going to want to also install another program called um, Services. So you're just going to say the first time you log in will take 30 or 35 seconds. Click OK. Okay, now we're going to go down to Utilities. Go down to Services. Install that. Because what services will do will allow you to turn on and off uh, SSH, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth. Because um, uh, OpenSSH doesn't have an icon. And you're going to want to turn off um, OpenSSH when you're not using it because it does drain your battery. Um, now that you have those two installed, you're going to want to go ahead and just uh, reboot your uh, iPod. Because if you don't do this, you won't be able to connect to WinSCP. It'll just give you a connection... Timeout error, I believe, is the error that you'll get. Turn it off, turn it back on. While this is booting up, you can go back to uh, WinSCP. And the first thing you want to do is click on Advanced Options, Connection, and change this to 45 seconds. So as you, as you uh, saw when we op or installed OpenSSH, so the first time it'll take anywhere from 30 to uh, 35 seconds. And the default for when SCP is 15 seconds, so it's never going to connect, it's going to have a timeout error because it takes longer than what your default is set up as. So change that to 45, click save. It's going to ask you to save the session as, you can just type in an iPod or whatever you want. Cancel the syncing. Um, click OK. Minimize iTunes. Now at this point what you want to do is click edit. Now your host name is going to be your IP address. Uh, to get this, you're going to go in the settings, uh, Wi Fi, and then uh, you click on this little blue arrow. And the first one is your IP address. So you're going to go up here, you're going to type in your IP address. So I'm going to do that at this point. Okay, now your username, that's going to be root, it's R-O-O-T. Password's going to be Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. And you want to click um, Save. Message will come up, click OK. Save Session As, and it should have whatever you typed, it, typed in earlier, the iPod. Click OK. Uh, let's see, go back to Springboard. Okay, now at this point, you can go ahead and just... Uh, Click login. Uh, the first time, it'll, like I said, it'll take about 30 to 35 seconds, um, but it should work. So, some key notes just install OpenSSH and then uh, install services. Hey, but after you install, it, make sure and reboot your uh, iPod. So if you don't, you're going to have the connection timeout error or uh, connection refused error, I believe is the other error you'll get. So, and then uh, just ensure to um, 
go in the advanced options in WinSCP and then go into a connection and change the uh, timeout to uh, 45 seconds because the default is 15 and that's not long enough so you can see the first time will take a little while this will pop up and you just want to click yes and there you have it, WinSCP open and uh, running left side is your uh, desktop or your uh, hard drive on your computer right side over here is your uh, iPod or iPhone but the, that's how you uh, get WinSCP working with a little more uh, in-depth detail